There are 7 billion people on this planet and probably 3 billion different opinions on what you should and shouldn't do with your computer. In today's video, I'm going to break down six common misconceptions that you might have heard when it comes to computers and stick around to the end for a bonus tip. So myth number one, a new computer will fix my problem. That's kind of true and kind of not. It's more important to find out what's going on with the existing computer to see if it's maybe something you are doing that's causing the problem. Obviously, if you're having physical problems with the computer, then yes, a new computer will fix your problem. Most of the problems I see with computer customers are user behavior and not the computer. So keep that in mind. Myth number two, computer repair is too expensive. Yes, while it is true that there are people out there that are shady and that they will charge you an arm and a leg because you don't know any different, there are plenty of small repair shops, plenty of people out there that fix computers as a side hustle, that know what they're doing, they just don't have the big brick and mortar stores. So I would always ask around. The best resource for you is gonna be the people that you know and trust. Get on social media, ask around, find out who you know has used for their computer problems and see what they say. Most of the time, if you ask somebody, who do you go to, you're going to find a lot of people are going to tell you the same thing over and over again, and that's the person that you should reach out to. Myth number three, I have to pay for good software. <laughs> yes, while it is true that a lot of software does cost money, there is plenty of software that you use on a daily basis that's absolutely 100% free. Two examples I can think of off the top of my head, Avas Antivirus for antivirus protection and OpenOffice for creating documents and spreadsheets. Those programs are totally free and they work beautifully. I use them every single day. Cost me zero dollars. Just bear in mind that just because something comes with a price tag doesn't necessarily mean that it's valuable. It just means that somebody is going to charge you because they assume that you don't know the difference. Ask around. Your friends and people you know are gonna give you a lot better information than some website that's going to convince you you have to spend money for software. So if you're getting value from this video, please do me a favor. Computer myth number four, turning my computer off when I'm not using it is gonna make it last longer. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how many times I have heard this over the past 30 years. Every part inside your computer is going to die. Your hard drive has a lifespan, your motherboard has a lifespan, your sound card has a lifespan. Everything inside your computer will eventually die. Now, the problem is, we don't know when that's going to happen. Whether you leave the computer on or off, when that hard drive is going to die, it's going to die. The amount of time that you leave that computer on isn't going to change how soon that computer dies. Every component has what's called an MTBF, a mean time between failures. Would you like me to explain? I would love to hear this. Now that is an industry average of how long that computer part should last. Your bigger risk is leaving a computer on during a storm because lightning and computers do not mix. So if you're more concerned with the life of your computer, make sure you unplug it physically when you have a storm in the area and that will go a lot further to making your computer last longer. Whether your computer is on or off, make sure it's in a properly ventilated area. I get computers every single day when I look at the outside of them and they are covered in dust bunnies. That means you're not getting proper ventilation, which means the computer can't breathe. That's going to kill your computer way faster than just leaving it on a few hours every night. If you're properly ventilated and there's no storms in the area, leaving your computer on is not going to cause that much damage. Computer myth number five, a computer warranty is a waste of money. That is absolutely ridiculous. Every computer comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty brand new off the shelf. Every single computer. You have up until that first year's warranty expiration date to extend that warranty. You don't have to buy it when you buy the computer. Look at it this way. If you have the computer for 12 months during that first year warranty and you have zero problems, and then 12 months and three weeks into ownership, it dies, you chose not to spend a little extra money and now you have a dead computer. Spend a little extra money before your warranty is up, 25 to $50 usually, and get one extra year of warranty. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Most of the computers I deal with died between month 12 and month 24. If they survive past 24 months, usually they will survive for years and years and years. But most of the computers die just after the warranty and buying a warranty is smart money. Think of it this way, if you spend $50 to extend your warranty for one year and a service call plus parts cost you $200, 
on month 14. Which makes more sense? Myth number six, I need to upgrade Windows. No, you don't. Now, unless you are still running Windows XP, like 0.59% of the population, that's an actual number. Unless you are using Windows XP, you do not need to upgrade to the latest, greatest version of Windows. That's all sales and propaganda. Damn, there must be some clue to the source of their mental manipulation techniques. The reality is, Yes, a new operating system will give you extra security features, but many times those security features are specific to that operating system. Now, if you have an older operating system like Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10, yes, you can still use your computer every single day. Are you more vulnerable to viruses? Depends on who you ask, but the reality is I've got machines right now that I have Windows 7. I can boot them up, turn them on, use them all day long with the correct antivirus and using the computer properly and not doing stupid stuff is more of a benefit to you than having a newer operating system and doing stupid things. Another common misconception is that the newer operating system gives you better performance. Well, if you take the newer operating system and put it on an older machine, a lot of times you're going to have the reverse effect because you have a new operating system that requires more hardware and your old hardware can't run it as efficiently as a new computer. So you actually think you're upgrading and you're actually going to slow your computer down because you have a new operating system on old hardware. I just can't do it, Captain. I do it have the power. If you go buy a new computer with a new Windows and you say, wow, it's fast. Well, it's not fast because of Windows. It's fast because you have new hardware. The hardware is what makes the computer fast, not the operating system. I guess that doesn't make any sense, does it? Believe me, it makes perfect sense. No, you don't need a new operating system. There's absolutely no reason for it. It's a waste of money. The exception to that is if you have an older operating system that no longer works with certain websites, YouTube, for example, or Yahoo Sports or things like that, that require you to upgrade to the newer version, then yes, in those cases, a new operating system would benefit you. But you also have to figure you're going to have to pay to upgrade that operating system unless Microsoft gives it to you for free or go buy a new computer. A better one. A better one. Either way, there's going to be some cost involved. If you're using your computer and you don't have problems with viruses or things like that, keep using your computer. You don't need to upgrade. Now, obviously, if you want the newer operating system, then go get it. Just understand though, when Microsoft releases a new version of Windows, there is usually a year to two years where developers and geeks like me have to work out all the bugs because things that you do on a normal basis on the old computer, now all of a sudden don't work properly on the new one. So you're going to have to deal with constant updates because as developers find the bugs, Microsoft has to patch them and they push those updates down to you. So if you get the new operating system, understand you're gonna to have to update it constantly until it becomes stable. And here's your bonus tip. Computer repair companies are just out to get my money. As I said before, there are shady people in every line of work. Computer companies are no different. The best thing you can do is do your homework. Ask around. Forget about the Better Business Bureau rating, which you can purchase a better rating. No! Forget about websites where you can pay for reviews. Ask the people that you know and trust, who do you use for computers? Get on social media, post on one of your local community websites, hey, I need computer repair. Look and see who gets tagged repeatedly every single time somebody posts a need for computer repair. That's the person to call because that's the person that's going to be fair. They're going to be honest. They're going to be reasonable. They're going to shoot you straight from the hip. They're not trying to make a billion dollars off of you. They just want your business. And if you can establish a rapport with them via text message or phone call, they show up when they're supposed to, they give you an accurate price and they give you what you pay for. That's who you use for computer repair. You don't have to go to the big box stores. Most of the people that work in the big box stores a week before they were hired were working fast food or other retail. It's a fact. So with that being said, I hope I debunked these common misconceptions for you. If you have anything to add, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks so much for watching.